Welcome to the Investors Trading Academy event of the week. Each week our staff of analysts and educators tries to provide you with a better understanding of a major market event scheduled soon that will have a major effect on the global markets. With the US economy improving, the focus has been on the labour market to lead the Federal Reserve to make its upcoming decision on interest rate increases. The June 5th non-farm payroll report increased interest in the upcoming FOMC meeting. With jobs soaring well above forecast, it's now likely that the Fed will begin raising interest rates in the next 90 days. The June meeting is scheduled for June 17th. The Fed has kept short-term rates near zero since December 2008 and has said it will wait until it sees continued improvement in the labour market and stronger signs that annual inflation is headed back towards the Fed's 2% target before raising rates. In a speech in late May, Janet Yellen said that the Fed was still on course to raise rates even though we were still seeing some lacklustre economic data. Yellen said that if the economy continues to improve, as I expect, I think it will be appropriate at some point this year to take the initial step to raise the federal funds rate target and begin the process of normalising monetary policy. To support taking this step, however, I will need to see the continued improvement in labour market conditions and I'll need to be reasonably confident that inflation will move back to 2% over the medium term. Having said that, I should stress that the actual course of policy will be determined by incoming data and what that reveals about the economy. Some Fed officials believe it will be too early to raise interest rates in June, even though a first quarter economic slowdown was unlikely to persist. Minutes of the meeting held last month showed. The US recovery has lost momentum during the winter months and pace of hiring has moderated, the Federal Reserve said in a statement released on April 29th reinforcing expectations that rates will be kept near zero at the next meeting in June or longer. After an unexpected surge in US job gains in May, traders are now betting the Federal Reserve will start raising interest rates as soon as October and will make a second increase early next year. Traders see a 53% chance that the first Fed rate hike will come at the Fed's second-to-last meeting of the year, based on CME FedWatch which tracks rate hike expectations using its Fed Funds futures contracts. They see a better than ever chance that the Fed will have chalked up two rate increases by its January meeting, the same contracts suggest. Before Friday's report on May jobs, traders appeared convinced that the Fed would need to wait until at least December and perhaps into next year before removing any of its monetary policy accommodation.